Okay, so I just wanted to take a quick second to explore something that I saw on the Moog forums. And we're looking at this run stop function on the DFAM. Right now you can see, and I've got the grandmother sitting right here. This is the sequencer. I've got the grandmother sitting right off to the side. If I take just the square LFO and I plug it into the DFAM, you can see that it starts running. The, you know, the, the sequencer run stop is being modulated by the square wave LFO on the grandmother, right? But it's not triggering the envelopes. So you can, I mean, you can think like, you know, like why is, why is that not triggering the envelopes? Like I, I wanna just modulate that. Like I'm gonna show you why this is actually allowing you to create more interesting rhythms as opposed to just a single cable patch to try and, you know, make something interesting. So right now I've got um, a couple of leads out of the ornament and crime. I'm running the hemispheres mode in a rhythm generator, the annular um, module in the hemispheres. Um, and so they're, they're both like kind of ratcheting. It's on its own internal clock and they're ratcheting on, on um, just some prime numbers to give me a little bit of a, like, um, you know, like a evolving kind of feel in the way that the triggers are being um, sent out and stuff. So, um, so I'm gonna disconnect that. We'll take the first lead and then we'll go, we'll advance this to the first step in the sequencer and the sequencer is not running. So, so that's, that's the pattern of pulses coming out of here. And you can see I'm not running the DFAM sequencer. I'm just triggering the first two steps and then, you know, the drum voice. Um, when I opened up, there was a, a, a delay that is, it's not synced to the ornament and crime, but we're just at 115 BPM. And I just have that at a, a um, quarter note uh, tape delay module out of the H9 or from the DFAM through the H9 into, into this, you know, audio interface. So we'll take that and we'll actually, we'll put it into the advanced clock. So right now it's not running, but if I do hit the run stop, so now we do have a little bit of like a dancing rhythm, right? Now, and we'll, we'll get to this run stop really quick. Now we'll just explore this really quick. It's a little bit more simple. Um, you know, this, this one seems to be a little bit more complicated and this one, you know, it's a little bit more simple, but when they play against each other, um, here, we'll, we'll try them, you know, each and we'll just get a, an idea of how this sounds. So, so that's something that we can play with. Um, now, getting back to this run stop, I'm gonna take the square wave and I'm gonna reconnect that, and then we're gonna reconnect each of these into the advance and the trigger. So what I've achieved right now is I've got the square wave that's, you know, and this is all within relatively sensitive ranges that this can kind of start to happen and create these instrument like, you know, stalls on like a certain note, you know, depending on the, the BPM and, you know, the Euclidean, you know, the two Euclidean trigger sequences and the tempo and the, you know, whatever numbers those are set at and are 
grandmother's LFO, when we get these in respective ranges, we can have things happen where we can stall this run-stop on certain steps in the DFAM sequencer. So if I, if I turn off the run-stop, you can see that it's now being modulated. But if I override that, it's going to keep advancing. And we'll listen to this again. So now I've got grandmother's LFO set at a speed where when it's connected in that way, when it stalls, you only get about two hits on the, um, on whatever step it stalls at. You gotta view it holistically. And I'll, I'll add back in this uh, synced delay and then you can kind of hear it in context. if I just override it. So that is why the run stop does not trigger the envelopes. And when you are running a modulation to it, it's, that's that is why that's why that, that that's why that is. Because again, if I were just running that same square wave right there at some frequency, you know, I could arrange it in a certain way where this would then, yeah, be triggering the envelopes, but that would be far less interesting to listen to.